welcome to another episode of Talk and Tech. My name is Trisha Hirschberger, and today we are talking with Natalie Dormer and Taylor Kinney, stars of the upcoming Focus Features film, The Forest. You get paranoid. Um, the forest is terrifying. <laughs> Good. Today we are going to be talking tech, and I don't know how much of a gadget junkie you are, but we're going to start off with the really personal questions. Okay. If that's okay with you. Yeah. So This is like the one thing that Sarah doesn't have in the forest, because no technology works oh. in the forest. And we're going to get into we're that. We're going to get to that. Okay. okay. So Great. starting off with the personal stuff, what is your favorite gadget that you currently use and own? I have a Blackberry. I'm very, I'm very not, I'm not very technological. You have a sound. Blackberry? Yeah. Like, well, I mean, I would just be lost without my iPhone. I mean, it's really that simple. My older brother, uh, <laughs> Adam, he was the first person to program a VCR. So when okay. I was a kid, when we had like a, a VHS or a Nintendo, and he was a bit of a savant. So he kind of, he monopolized all time on, on video game <laughs> systems, uh, the computer. Mm -hmm. If I want, you know, he was always, so he's the, he's the guy. He's the tech nerd in the family. I spent all my time outside. I was always in the woods on a dirt bike or, or just hiking or, you know, spray painting under bridges and things. Which makes you the perfect guide for Sarah in the forest. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. I was PC when I was back at school. Okay. That's a long time ago. Now, on your iPhone, do you have a favorite app or a most frequently used app? My most frequently used app on the iPhone would definitely be WhatsApp because when okay. I, I'm away from home so much, I'm doing press junkets, I'm shooting, mm -hmm. so it's my, my quickest, fastest way of staying in contact with my friends and family. Sending videos, mm -hmm. sending photos, you know. And sending all through data, so when you're sending internationally, yeah. WhatsApp is perfect for you. Yes. Exactly. So you don't take your phone with you like when you're traveling internationally? Yeah, like a good journal. You are amazing to me. Do you yeah. speak a lot of different languages? No, <laughs> broken, broken bunch. How do you get around without Google Translate or iTranslate? I don't know, it, it's, 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 it's more, um, <laughs> The, the experience is more colorful when you don't have that, I think, I feel. So you're gonna have a really interesting answer to this question. I know in the forest, in the actual forest, the iron deposits in the trees are said to make compasses and cell phones not work. Yes. What is the longest you have ever been disconnected? <laughs> Maybe this past summer, we actually shooting, <laughs> shooting the, the, the film, The Forest, I was in, we were in Serbia. So I was in Serbia for, uh, I don't know, a month and a half and I didn't, Take, I didn't use my phone, so let's say a month and a half without my phone. Well, the signal was pretty bad. We were <laughs> up in a mountain in Serbia shooting the forest. Um, so we were in this beautiful national park, this forest called the Tara National Park, and uh, connectivity was pretty <laughs> bad up there. So for most of the forest shoot, I would be like, uh, Walking, walking around like walking around like a mad person. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? I, I enjoy it. I, I like it. I'm a bit of a throwback, maybe. Okay. Um, but it gets too much. I, I feel people are too plugged in. You shouldn't be relying. You know, mountain rescue and everything always say don't rely on your technology because the weather and it can go wrong. You need yeah. to be old fashioned and take a map up there with you and know how to read it. And that's not a skill set that, uh, that, that the new generation really has anymore. And it's important because it's dangerous. And that is excellent advice, P.S. Listen to Natalie on that one. <laughs> All right, now, so let's talk about some of the stuff that happens in the forest. We're dealing with the dead trying to communicate with humans. Mm -hmm. Do you think that it's possible for humans, live humans, to communicate with the dead. Yeah, I think there's, I mean, I'm not, I'm not that closed off. I mean, I, I believe, you know, I believe in that. I believe in the afterlife. Well, I think what the forest is really about is about uh, the demons that you carry as an individual manifesting themselves. Mm -hmm. And it's this idea of walking into a place where you have your own demons reflected immediately back at you. And that is terrifying. I mean, the idea that that could be a real place is absolutely terrifying. Well, what if I told you that there was an app that exists today that claims to be able to allow you to communicate with the dead? I would believe you because there's an you app would? for everything. I'd say you should buy it and have fun with it. Would you want to try it? Oh my God. Oh, oh, that's that's very funny. This is called Ghost Detector for everybody at home. So what are we doing? We're tracking ghosts. Are there ghosts? any ghosts in here that you can see? It doesn't look like there's any ghosts in the room. It looks like it looks like we're clear. Oh, there is a ghost. <laughs> it looks like we're in a safe part of New York City right now, folks. Patricia, is that what it is? Is that what it says? Hummus. 
There's a ghost named Patricia who yeah, really it's, likes hummus. It's uh, Patricia the okay. hummus ghost. Patricia the hummus ghost. Well, yeah. thank you, As Patricia. She, it's getting towards lunch. She must be hungry. <laughs> Well, thank you for being such a good sport and checking it out. Yeah, Thanks for being a good sport, <laughs> yeah. trying out our ghost technology. Yeah. Cheers. Pleasure. <laughs>